Mid-air interfaces facilitate natural user interactions as users freely move their arms in space to interact with the computing system. However, a frequent complaint among users of such systems is the feeling of heaviness and tiredness of the arm, a condition colloquially termed as the gorilla arm effect. The primary means of assessing physical effort for mid-air interactions consists of using qualitative tools such as Likert scale questionnaires, the NASA TLX, and the Borg scales. However, these methods involve a high degree of subjectivity and cannot be used a priori for designing new systems. To obtain an objective measure of effort for mid-air interactions, we propose a new metric called consumed endurance. Consumed endurance is the ratio between the time used for the interaction and the available endurance time, a measure derived from the biomechanical structure of the arm. We implemented CE using a Microsoft Connect as the tracking system. To calculate consumed endurance in real time, our implementation follows the arm as it moves in three dimensions and estimates the forces involved at any given point of time using standard bodily measures of arm length and weight. For instance, a user can hold his arm for 70 seconds at 90 degrees, and after 10 seconds the consumed endurance of this position is 12%. This means that the user can sustain their arm in this position for a little over one minute before needing rest. Similarly, a user can hold his arm at 45 degrees for 130 seconds, and after 10 seconds the consumed endurance for this position is 8%. This means that the user can sustain their arm in this position for a little over 2 minutes before needing rest. Finally, a user can hold his arm for an undefined amount of time when the arm is at rest. We compare CE against the Borg CR10 scale for physical exertion and found the two metrics present a strong to perfect correlation. This means that CE is a valid and objective metric for measuring arm fatigue. We also compared the impact of gender-specific constants on CE and found that CE yields similar results. This means that CE is a gender-independent metric for measuring arm fatigue. We used our metric in two experiments to evaluate different mid-air interaction parameters that cause minimum fatigue. Our first experiment focused on plane location and arm extension. The arm can be extended or bent, and the plane can be at the shoulder or center level. We observed the following. Both CE and Borg yielded similar significant results. The least physically demanding combination of plane location and arm extension is the center and bent condition. Our second experiment looks into the fatigue effects of plane size and selection methods. We evaluated the following selection methods. Click. Second arm. Dwell. Swipe. We observe the following. CE and Borg revealed significant differences in selection method. CE revealed a difference in plane size, but Borg ratings did not. Selection with a second hand consumes less endurance, but with one hand, dwell is the preferred technique. We apply CE to mid-air text entry, a task that can be tiring, is repetitive, and that can benefit from new guidelines. Using the center-bent plane as a reference, our results show in blue the least effort-demanding cells in a 6x6 grid. Combined with the frequency of characters in the English language results in the CETO layout. Our text entry experiment showed that CE is significantly lower for CETO when compared to QWERTY. Our results demonstrate the value of adopting CE for evaluating the physical demand of mid-air interactions. We have generated the following guidelines for mid-air selections. 1. The center-bent arm position for selections on a 2D plane is the less tiring than other positions we tested. 2. In the center-bent arm position, a bigger plane can be used to reduce tracking-induced errors. Three. A clicking device for selecting minimizes fatigue. When only one arm is available, the dwell method is best. 4. Strength can be used to inform the design of endurance-efficient interaction techniques. 5. The CETO layout supports endurance-efficient typing.